Welcome to Lil John's Yarns. Today, we're going to learn how to make this super bulky cow with only using worsted weight yarn. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll hop right into the video. Before we begin our um, crocheting our cow, I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to take worsted weight yarn and change it into super bulky or chunky yarn. You'll begin by making a slip knot. Okay, now take your slip knot. We're going to begin like we're going to finger crochet, finger chain your yarn. So put your um, thumb and pointer through the loop and grab the working yarn and pull. I'm not going to pull as long as I usually would, so this will be a quick lesson on how to do that. So now that we pulled that, we have three strands of yarn. And three strands of worsted weight yarn equals super barky or chunky yarn. To crochet with it, begin by making a slip knot, just like you would any other um, pattern you would start. We're just going to do a couple chains together. So we'll chain until we run out of our three strands of yarn. Okay, we've made it to the very end of our three strands of yarn, so what should we do now to continue? So once again, we're going to put two fingers through the loop and grab our working yarn and pull, like so. And now once again, we have our three strands of yarn. We'll make a couple more chains together until we run out of yarn, and I'll show you how to pick up your yarn again. Okay, once again, we ran out of yarn. So we'll put our two fingers through the loop and grab the working yarn and pull. Well, during the tutorial, I wouldn't pull such a um, short strand. I would pull extra long so I wouldn't have to keep repeating um, going back and pulling more yarn and going back and pulling more yarn. So I hope that was an easy, quick tutorial on how to create a super bulky or chunky yarn just by using worsted weight yarn, what you have already in your yarn stash. Okay, one more time. Go through the loop, grab the working yarn, and pull. And that's it. All right, now we'll move on into our cow tutorial. For this pattern, I am reusing some worsted weight yarn, Red Heart Super Saver, in the color real teal and I'm also using the big old crochet hook um I believe this is a P I'm not sure um I'll definitely look it up before I'm done and I'll put it somewhere up here <laughs> the exact uh, crochet hook size that I'm using we'll begin by turning our worsted weight yarn into um super bulky or chunky yarn you'll start by making a slip knot Then put your two fingers through the slip knot and pull like you're about to make a finger chain, finger crochet chain. You grab the yarn and pull. I am going to pull a lot so I won't have to keep going back and pulling more yarn. You can't exactly see how much I'm pulling off camera, but it's a lot of yarn. Okay, now we'll begin by making another another slip knot. Insert your hook and we are going to chain 45. I'm not going to make you watch me chain all 45. I'll meet you at the completion of your 40 whoops 45th stitch. We have completed our 45th chain, so now we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first chain. So make sure your work is not twisted. Let me make sure mine isn't. And we're going to slip stitch to join into the very first chain. I think my work is twisted. 
okay I found my very first chain stitch so we're going to slip stitch to join now that we're joined we're going to chain two one two this does not count as um, a stitch we're going to place one puff into the same stitch right here to do this puff it's only we're only going to go into the stitch twice so I'll show you so yarn over go in once yarn over go into the same stitch twice you should have five loops on your hook one two three four five yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook it can be difficult there we go yarn over and yarn over and chain and that completes your puff stitch so we're going to skip one stitch and place another puff in the next stitch it's kind of hard to see your work here so we're going to skip this stitch and place a puff in this stitch here so we're going to go into this stitch twice to create your puff so yarn over go in once pull up a loop yarn over go in twice pull up a loop five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all five loops on your hook yarn over chain one to complete your puff stitch simple as that I'll show you one more time we're going to skip the very next stitch and place a puff stitch in the next one we're going to go into this stitch twice to create your puff so yarn over go into the stitch once yarn over pull up a loop yarn over go into the stitch a second time yarn over pull up a loop and you should have five loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook yarn over and chain one and that completes your puff we're going to repeat this all the way around skipping one stitch and placing a puff in the next skipping one stitch and placing a puff in the next one all the way around I'll meet you back at the other side we've made it back around and we're going to slip stitch to join into the chain two so there's one two we're going to slip stitch to join now we're going to chain two again one two remember this chain two does not count as a um, stitch we're going to begin putting our puff into the very next stitch right here so we're going to go in twice like we did for the previous row so yarn over go in once pull up a loop yarn over go back into the same space pull up a loop five stitches on your hook yarn over pull through all five stitches yarn over chain one your first puff is complete now we're going to skip this next stitch here this one and we're going to place another puff in this next stitch right here so once again yarn over go into the stitch once pull up a loop yarn over go into the stitch twice pull up a loop five loops on your hook and pull through all five loops yarn over and chain I'll show you one more time we're going to skip the next stitch and put a puff into the very next yarn over go into that space pull up a loop you went through once yarn over go into the same space and this is your second time pull up a loop five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all five loops yarn over 
and chain 1. We're going to continue this sequence by putting the puff in every other stitch for a total of 9 rows, which includes this row also. I'll meet you at the completion of your ninth row. We have completed our 9 additional rows. And now we're going to slip stitch to join into the very um, top chain 2 stitch. So we'll see 1, 2. Slip stitch to join. There you go, and you can fasten off your work. This took me about one skein of yarn. And make sure you weave in all your work and you are all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell because I come out with two new patterns every week. I'll see you on the next video.